I was gonna say, you know, I might as well use uh, Valley's Awakening, but... Let's get behind the dragon over here to get some more crystals out of it. And Locksmell, you might as well just... Buff up over here. Or you could run out of, uh... AP, that would be nice. Okay. Can I get in range to right across this guy? Yes, I can. Okay. Or, you know what? Let's make uh, Darius lead the attack here since this guy's a lot of HP and we have to really will it down, so. Stand ready to engage. Alright, Red Cross. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Alright, go walks ball, you lead the way. Let it be decided here and now. Huck. Gravity blessing. I never miss. And Doris, you can pretty much finish it off since With you're already buffed. Finishing strike. I see play. Save Okay, that should do it. Usually you're supposed to use Valley's Awakening to even scratch the dragon, but if you use if you buff up your characters at the right time and move into flank at the right time too, yo kill it even without e without even using Valley's Awakening. Alright, we get some EXP out of that one. Nice. And we get a free heal out of that too, from leveling up. And there's a 10% damage we take from poison. Okay, whatever. Those guys are not gonna... Okay, they can move if they want. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, let's see now. We can... Let's get behind this guy over here. And since I'm crazy about killing these guys, might as well buff up Wilfred. Now we have... Enough AP. Might reinforce. Oh, I hate these guys so much. All right, here we go. All I am able to do, I shall. Yeah! Holy crap! That's a ton of crystals. Don't even have to use a soul crush. <laughs> Who else and with that, we should hit our recommended sin value, or sin quota. That just leaves Yasupi, and I'm not going to bother healing the poison. Since it doesn't really do any more damage. Okay, good. Go after... We'll go after the Ossipi now. Come on, don't paralyze him. Thank you! For once, it didn't paralyze me. Yeah, it didn't use the Whirlwind attack over there, so this time around, it didn't actually paralyze me. Okay, let's see now. Can I... I really want to get behind the guys and freaking the back attack him. And the only way to do that is a dash. Because I really want to grant cross this guy, just for the hell of it. Okay then, are you in range? Oh, what's the point? Yeah, just go over here. Okay then. Know thy enemy, and never question it. Especially if it's an OCP. Now how do you like it? Oh, why did they use a Soul Crush? Oh Gravity well. Decided here and now. I already have enough sin, but okay, fine. Gravity blessing. Have a taste of your own medicine! Even though we didn't exactly paralyze you, but you get what I mean. Always the reek of blood. All right, there we go. 
and we get safety boots. You want to make sure you keep those for later on. They're not really good, but they're going to be useful for some terrain battles later on in the game, so... Alright, let's see what we get here. Here we get a few technique tomes here, but more importantly, we get the Mirage Roll, which I will be equipping onto my characters. Or one of my characters, of course. What's with the sad music? I'm pretty sure only one of us wants you dead out of the entire party. Yeah, but you didn't even help us during that battle, that's a thing. But then again, it's a storyline, so... We assume that she helped us in the battle. Seems fair enough. An eye for an eye. That's not really justice. So you're mad at her, huh? You're a saint, Rosia. Let's let's put it that way. I'm not gonna say saintist. Oh, try telling that to a whole bunch of RPG uh, heroes. See if that works out for them. I really love the soundtrack, though. What's with the silence? Whoa! Where did you come from? <gasps> it's her! Talk about timing, huh? You're gonna help us deliver it? Oh my, maybe not. How dare you! You wouldn't. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Don't do this. But does this peaceful surrender ever work? I don't think so. Not really, she's helping people. I mean, what are you doing with your magic? Target number two, locked on. Whoa! Because listening to the first woman always solves a problem, of course. Always listen to the prettier woman. gonna kill us three of us? I highly doubt that. Too bad you can only kill us one by one. Yep, another battle viewers! So anyway, we can't save. So there's a lot of pressure in this battle, but first off, let's see now, yeah, the way of rejuvenation, useless. Training would be pretty nice because, well, the EXP that we get in Path A is actually kind of scarce. But at the same time, I wouldn't really want to use it because, 
even though it increases our experience gain, it reduces our stats overall. So, if you want to use it on your hand, I'd recommend teaching it to Wilford because his stats are pretty high over the other characters since he's a storyline character anyway. So, let's see. That's pretty much all the technique tomes for now. So, the Mirage Robe that we got there from gaining 200% of the Sin Quota is really, really good. Oh, what the hell? Where is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. I, mis I mistook it for a headpiece. It's it's a cloak, so it's meant for the body. But, yeah, look at that. We get a whole bunch of physical defense out of that. And you may lose 20 magical defense in the process, but I'd say it's definitely worth it because this is pretty much going to be on lock spell for a majority of the game since it's really, really good. 120 physical defense. That's just amazing, so... Definitely want that on Locksmoke here, and remember those poison checks I picked up earlier? Yeah, let's put them onto my two swordsmen over here. I can't put one onto Ushio since he's a guest character. And there's no hidden treasure in the next battle, so there's no point in keeping that onto Wolford now, is there? So that's pretty much it. Let's engage already. <laughs> 